George Brett, Al Hansen, Dick Higgins, Scott Hyde, Alan Caprow, Florence Tarlow, Jackson McClough, Harvey Gross, George Siegel, Jim Dunn, Judy Wheatstraw, Alex Seward, Tom Bond, Silas Hogan, Arbella Gray, Luigi Nono, John Coltrane, Henry Townsend, Robert Lockman, Jr. Chuck Close, Robert Rauschenberg, Joseph Cornell, Willem de Kooning, Willem de Kooning, Max Ernst, Robert Filiu, Ian Hamilton Finlay, Dan Flavin, John A. Williams, J. D. Salinger, Truman Capote, Saul Bellow, Karen Gordon, Ethan Cannon, Richard R. Davison, Trisha Brown, Meredith Monk, Martha Graham, Mary Wigman, Lester Horton, Twyla Tharp, Isadora Duncan, Elaine Summers. Larry Coons, Lamont Young, John Cage. Earl Hines, John Jackson, David Tudor, Red. <laughs> Red Grooms, David Hockney, Jenny Holzer, Rebecca Horn, Jasper Johns. Jack Kenton. Brian Whitlock. Kathy Wright. Harriet Arnold. Alan Ginsberg. Gary Snyder. John Cole. 
Wolf Rain, Erlheim, Wolf Bustel, Robert Wade, uh, Ginsburg, Gary Snyder, Gregory Goldstein. Judy Chicago, Trisha Brown, Meredith. Jim Dye, Larry Pumas. Henry Townsend, Yellow, Robert Jr., Earl Hines, David Tudor, Larry Warhol, Pink Anderson, Andrew. Charles Vegas,
It's about time We started moving on It's about time We started moving on We've got protests In Wall Street We've got protests Wall Street. Protests in the streets. Working change. Protests in the streets. Wall Street, Wall Street, Wall Street. Wall Street. Down that lonely river, down that lonely street, looking at the history that we got it so beat, we have no future of hope in the skies and dreams. We follow that river down, down the endless stream. We are happy. Oh, 
Silver Coding. score and the happening and they've now taken it into the 21st century using technology, producing video art, photography, painting, dance, poetry, uh, conceptual sound, uh, music. Uh, Holyoke doesn't have a public access channel so it would be great if we could show Switch in Holyoke as well which is where it was created. The viewing experience is different just by the mere knowledge that there's a chance that someone's watching the exact same programming at the exact same second. When we do our once a month gathering in the studio to produce the show that we call Switch, we definitely benefit from being a group and we uh, work off of each other's energy. There's a very strong collaborative feeling, I would say. Everybody gains inspiration from what other people are doing. To document it properly, I have to put myself in the mindset of being an audience member. What's interesting to me is the element of surprise, to see what happens. It doesn't always work, but most of the time, it hopefully does. I mean, I think of so many artists who have been pushed out of their spaces, and there's like this whole airspace that's now becoming available. 
It's got a lot of potential for artists to do work and put it out there. The production is just a wonderful tool that, that artists are using. Starting with your local public access television station is the way to go. People tend to overlook more traditional outlets such as public access and jump immediately to YouTube or Vimeo, but it's a little difficult to try to present material that is relevant to your community in a forum that is designed for billions of people to have access to. The phrase, think globally, act locally, would be very much apropos. Switch was such a natural unfolding. I mean, we got together and basically experimented with creative ideas. And many of the small Fluxus pieces that I grew up doing in the Fluxus festival that happened at the Anthology Film Archives and the Judson Church, doing very experimental improvisational dance in Lincoln Center. Aside from uh, doing the uh, live performances once a month, uh, I paint here occasionally. This building is probably at least 150 years old. This space here originally apparently used to be a grocery store. Often during the, uh, the performances that we do, that we call lab, we have uh, video projections going on. And uh, so the performers may be performing in front of the video projection. Some people like to have the projection on them. Artists being in everyone's living room. You could turn, switch on the television and have artists uh, doing a, a, a short performance piece and have something that's refreshing and different. I would love to see Intermedia and Nam June Paik's vision of having art in everyday life, being able to turn on the television and see a short performance piece and refresh people's everyday life in a way that's special and mysterious and experimental. I used to live in uh, New Jersey and in New Jersey I had a group. We were kind of experimental and we would show up on rehearsal nights but we didn't really rehearse because there was nothing to rehearse. We would all show up with outlandish instruments that were prepared or, or just in whichever way they were modified with effects. And we would always try to outdo each other with just craziness. So that's kind of continued up here since uh, I moved up to uh, Western Massachusetts. We're in Holyoke right now. The kind of work I do that pays my bills is in the advertising uh, industry and it is specifically pre-production artwork. They call it also storyboards and comps and animatics. When I started out doing it, it was all done by hand. Uh, marker illustrations on paper and then that slowly transitioned to uh, all digital. It's still drawn by hand but it's drawn on, in this case, a uh, tablet that also doubles as a monitor. My father's intermedia ideas and theories which he struggled so hard to put out there. I think there was a reason that this culture wanted that. We would love for artists from other parts of the country and artists from all parts of the world not only to collaborate online with Switch but also to come to lab, to come right here to Holyoke and get involved. We want to make connections with other people who have similar sensibilities. We decided we were going to do this this lab switch, which became switch, down in Holyoke. I mean, take a look down this canal here. There's just some beautiful, beautiful scenes. It would lend itself very well to location shooting, be it film or still photography, or even just as subject material for painters or photographers. Lab is more of this place that is so wide open that really anything can happen. But when you deal with switch, which is something that's broadcasted, you are dealing with a few very loose constraints such as time. I mean, we have a 30-minute segment that we need to perform these pieces in, and we want everyone to get a chance to do their piece. Of course, this isn't written in stone, and sometimes vintage Fluxus artists have come along, or um, we've had a few guests artists to switch which are you know very well known and structures vary a little bit in that case. When I moved up here I didn't really know much about this area. I didn't know about Holyoke at all. Physically it's a very interesting city. There's a new building that's being built here in Holyoke and they call it this high performance computing center. It's going to house some of the most powerful computers in the world. One of the reasons they're building this center here in Holyoke is because of the fact that the electricity that's available to them is green electricity. It's all hydroelectric. It's just one block in that direction. Yes, I'm trying to bring together an open space to experiment with Intermedia.
Holyoke is definitely the most exciting environment that people could come to to collaborate in projects. For example, there's Bring Your Own Restaurant that happens here in Holyoke. People show up here on the canals and they bring tables and tablecloths and linens and real plates and they, some people even dress up. And uh, of course there's no money uh, exchange. And that is another community driven event as an outdoor restaurant. The people who attend are artists, they're business people, they're politicians. That is an artist-organized event. When I saw Dennis working, it reminded me that Nam June wanted to put Intermedia on TV in everyone's living room. It was a natural leap to ask Dennis to put Lab on TV as a show called Switch. 